Welcome to Book Root Readings, your channel for classic, nature, and living children's books. Click the subscribe button to be notified of new readings. Enjoy the story! Monarch and Milkweed by Helen Frost and Leonid Gore Acknowledgements the author thanks Dr. Chip Taylor of Monarch Watch at Kansas University for advice on the text, Anne Colbert for friendship and knowledge, and Caitlin DeLowey for attentive, joyful editing. She thanks her parents, Jack and Jean Frost, for introducing her to Monarch and Milkweed when she was a small child. Dedicated with love to Lloyd and Penny, Cameron and Jordan. Beautiful Travelers, H.F. To the Markman Family, L.G. In a patch of dirt behind an old red barn, milkweed stretches into warm spring air. Its roots reach deep and wide. Its stem points to the sky. Monarch spreads her wings and rides the wind past white and yellow daisies across a creek, heading north. Milkweed's new leaves push out, then purple flowers, soft and round and fragrant. Monarch finds a dandelion, drinks its nectar, and flies on. She stops again, rests and drinks, and flies again. Milkweed stretches taller. Two by two, its leaves spread wide, sheltering long-legged spiders, black and orange beetles. Monarch lights on milkweed, drums her feet on milkweed's flower, and tastes home. Milkweed's flowers fall away. Green pods push out. Inside these bumpy fists, New seeds are forming. Monarch finds a mate and stays with him all afternoon, all night, into the morning. Eggs in her body grow heavy. She searches for milkweed. A breeze bends milkweed side to side. Monarch chooses its best leaf. Swaying in the breeze with milkweed, she curls her body underneath the leaf and glues one pale yellow egg to its soft underside. She flies from milkweed plant to milkweed plant, stopping on each to lay one shiny egg. Inside Monarch's egg, a caterpillar forms and four days later pushes out, shorter than an eyelash, almost invisible against the leaf's pale green. It eats the shell that held it, then moves across the leaf. It eats the leaf, it grows, and when it grows too big to fit inside its skin, it crawls right out. New skin already formed beneath the old. Yellow, black, and white, the monarch caterpillar feeds on milkweed's bitter leaves and grows. Four times the caterpillar sheds its skin, and then, one evening in late summer, it weaves a sturdy pad under a milkweed leaf, hangs upside down, and shapes its body like a J. Its feelers droop, and, one last time, it sheds its skin. It twists and turns and pulls its body up, transforming into a chrysalis. It hangs beneath the leaf, a shining jewel, jade green, speckled with gold. Twelve days, the monarch chrysalis shines in noontime shadows. Twelve nights, it waits under the moon and stars. It grows darker, gray, then black and orange as new monarch wings shine through. 
Early one morning, the chrysalis splits open. A new monarch steps out. Moist wings pressed against her body. She clings to the clear case of the chrysalis as warm air dries her wings. She opens her wings, closes them, opens them wide. A light breeze lifts her and she flies. Milkweed's leaves, now full of holes, turn yellow, then brown. Their edges curl and they begin to fall. Monarch flies from purple zinnia to black-eyed Susan, drinking nectar, getting ready. As the days turn cool, she turns south toward warmer air to begin her longest journey. Milkweed's pods are full. Its seeds are almost ready. In September's sun, the pod's strong walls turn dry and brown. Monarch flies and rides the wind, stopping only long enough to drink sweet nectar from a field of purple asters. She follows the last flowers of summer as she flies on and on, almost 2,000 miles all the way to Mexico. Milkweed's pods split open. Brown seeds lay close together on a soft white bed. October wind catches a silky tendril, opens it, and lifts the seed into the air, carrying it out and away across a river to an old white house. A kitten reaches up a paw and bats at the white fluff until it disappears. Rain comes, snow comes, rain comes again. Sun warms the earth, earth warms the seed, and under the dirt it opens. Roots reach down, a tip of green presses out and up towards warmth and light. Milkweed's first spring leaf unfurls. Far to the south, in Mexico, Monarch rides the wind toward it. Author's Note Each fall, monarch butterflies migrate from eastern North America to Mexico. Monarchs west of the Rocky Mountains migrate to California. Millions of monarchs gather in Mexico's Oyamel fir forests and stay there for the winter. In the spring, monarchs begin the journey back north. On their northern migration, monarchs mate and lay eggs. Those eggs become caterpillars, then chrysalises. New butterflies emerge and continue the journey. This happens two, three, or four times during the northern migration. The butterflies that complete the return journey are the offspring of those that left in the fall. The story in this book begins with the final generation on one northern journey and ends with a monarch in the next generation, as that monarch is leaving Mexico to begin the journey north the following spring. And what about the milkweed? Each species of butterfly has a host plant one kind of plant on which the butterfly lays its eggs. When the caterpillars hatch, this is the best kind of plant for them to eat. Milkweed is the host plant for monarch butterflies. Monarchs can taste with their front feet, and when they land on milkweed, they recognize it as the right place to lay their eggs. Many kinds of milkweed grow in fields along the monarch's journey. When it is time for a monarch to lay her eggs, she looks for milkweed plants. Each monarch lays hundreds of eggs, usually one egg on each milkweed plant. That way, when the eggs hatch, each caterpillar has enough food. The milkweed leaves have a bitter taste, and monarch caterpillars and butterflies also have that taste, so birds don't like to eat them. 
Scientists are trying to learn more about how monarch butterflies find their way to and from the places where they spend the winter. They aren't sure why one butterfly can fly all the way south, but it takes several generations to return north. Although they have learned a lot about monarch and milkweed, many mysteries remain for future scientists to explore. For further information, see Monarch Watch and Journey North.